Hello, my crafty friends. This is Teresa with Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. I am back today to kind of close up my Luscious Lemons series. My um, month of August, as I mentioned in another video, but just in case you missed it, did not go as planned. We went on an unplanned vacation. We hadn't taken a vacation in three years, since before the pandemic. And so we went on an unplanned vacation. And then later that month, um, my daughter, who lives in Oregon, and her two little boys came to visit. And they were here for 10 days. So I tried to get as much done ahead of time as I could due to other obligations. I just could not get back to this series. So anyhow, I'm going to wrap up this series. I did not make a dent in my lemon stuff. So we will come back next summer. I will come up with another prize. I am going to, um, uh, I'll talk about prize in a minute, but um, I'll come up with another prize next year and we will come back to the lemon stuff because I don't think my love of lemons is going to go away. I just recently, and I will interject a picture right here. I haven't decorated for fall yet. So I will interject a picture right here of my three-tiered tray and my most recent purchase. I think I, I um, mentioned this in my latest video, but I got a lemon bread box, a ceramic lemon bread box. I had, a bre I had a ceramic bread box, and my sister absolutely fell in love with it. So, um, anyhow, I bought the lemon bread box, and I'm giving her the one she fell in love with. Anyhow, so in my last video, I said that I would come back and use up this Squeeze the Day. Um, it is called Page Pieces. And I would use this up to create some cards because it's mainly for scrapbook pages. And I would come back and show you how to create some cards with it. So I used scraps that I had um, of the papers laying around and um, I created three different slimline cards. I also used the Squeeze the Day, This Calls for Confetti. Now, normally I link to Jamie's shop when I use this, but um, I will link to her shop for into this section just in case you want to go shopping. But um, Jamie doesn't specifically have this one in stock, so I will link to um, the This Calls for Confetti store. Um, the Jamie um, link will be an affiliate link. I do not have an affiliate with this store as of yet but I will link it down below if you want this to, to grab this um, mix. It's a beautiful mix. Um, this is my second package, if I remember correctly. I used this in the shaker card that I used, that I made. And I used a, my favorite Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. Um, it is called a Spectrum Noir... Um, glitter brush marker. It's a crystal clear. It's called Clear Overlay. And I will link this to my Amazon store. Um, I have this in my Amazon store link, so I will link this there. And before I get into the cards, uh, let me talk about the prize a minute. I showed a prize in one of my previous videos. I don't remember which one. And in order to be eligible for the prize, you must comment on every single video in the series. I will have the playlist linked down below and it will be linked at the very end of the video. Uh, so um, make sure you comment on every single video. And today is Monday, September 5th. Um, let's see. Yeah. Monday, September 12th, I will come back and I will do a little drawing real quick and um, in a little video and you can uh, and let you know who won. Okay, so for the first one, this was the big piece in the um, in the package that said squeeze the day. So I just layered some um, 
some strips behind it. Use this was also in the package, so I used this, and I just made kind of a funky little layout and used some of the pieces and said squeeze the day. I put some yellow and gold. Um, this calls for confetti all the way around it, and then I used that on the inside. So that is card number one. Then this one, um, I pulled in some other squares and these pieces were in that this page piece. Now this piece right here and the these were the chipboard um, p, um, sheet that I had. And uh, so again, I will link all of the products that I can find. I will link down below. Uh, a lot of these products are still available. Some aren't, but I will I will link them down below. And then on the inside, I used that little configuration again, using up all the scraps that I had. Um, and then I added some more of the this calls for confetti around. This card, I kind of really liked how this turned out. I was playing with this vellum. And I kind of laid it, it was accidentally laying on top of this piece, and I really liked how that looked. So I folded it behind and just laid it over top of that piece. It lifts up. I didn't glue it completely down. And then I added um, the um, the little pieces down here the that were in the page pieces. And um, the bees. And then some, I use, on this card, I use the teal. This calls for confetti pieces. And this one kind of on the inside was just kind of, kind of plain. I added the flag and that little heart up there. So those are my three cards that I created with the scraps. Some, this calls for confetti. And the page pieces from the Simple Stories Vintage Lemon Collection. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video and I will come back next Monday and announce the winner of the prize that I showed in a recent video. Thanks again. Bye.